Hokey dokey. Shout out to Iris for sending me this problem. So in this problem, they're asking us to find the limit as R approaches negative 5 from the left. That's what that little minus sign there means. So approaching negative 5 from the left uh, of this function here. So basically the general approach is we want to plug in negative 5 wherever we see R. So when we do that, we will get 5 sine of negative 5 times pi all over 4. And then all of this is over negative 5 plus 5. So as you can probably initially see, negative 5 plus 5 on the bottom will give us some sort of 0. right? And we'll talk more about what I mean by some sort of 0. And then up top, we have the sine of negative 5 pi over 4. So the important thing mainly with the numerator is recognizing that this sine value will be some constant and we just want to figure out whether this constant is a positive or negative because if we have say a positive constant over some zero then this should eventually go to infinity when we have a constant divided by an infinitesimally small number Basically, this blows up to infinity when we're dealing with limits. If we have a negative constant over a zero, this should go to negative infinity. But now there's even more of a twist. If zero is positive or negative, then that can also affect whether that's going to positive or negative infinity. So we need to consider if we are approaching negative 5 from the left. Let's think about a number line real quick. On a number line, from left to right, we have negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. And so approaching negative 5 from the left is, you know, going this direction from negative 6. And so a value that's approaching negative 5 from the left, something very close to negative 5, would be something like negative 5.01. So it's to the left or from the left of negative 5. And we want to imagine we are plugging in this r value, this value that is from the left of negative 5, right? So when we plug this in, the idea is this is going to tell us whether we have a positive 0 or a negative 0. So if we add these two values, it'll be very close to 0 but it'll still be negative. And so, and we'll actually work out this situation. So what we need to do, our goals are, let's figure out the sign of the constant on top, whether it's positive or negative. And we already know that the bottom zero is a essentially a negative zero. So <clears throat> what we need to do is just find out what is the sign value of that value we have. So I think it's, sine of negative 5 pi over 4 and that is a positive let me just make sure I'm in radians yep we're in radians and I think it was multiplied by 5 but regardless it's still a positive value so we get this positive 3.5 ish value so a positive constant over a negative 0 should give us so a positive divided by a negative is a negative and again because it's a constant over some zero it goes to infinity so in this case c would be our answer the only difference with say it was uh, approaching negative five from the right we would have plugged in a value from the right an example would be negative 4.99 had we plugged in negative 4.99 what happens with this value? It becomes very close to zero, but now it's in the positives. It'd be like 0 0.01, right? And so that's what would affect this, making both the numerator and denominators positive, and that would have changed it to positive infinity. So there is a difference approaching a value from the left or from the right. So pay close attention to the sign of the value on top as well as the sign of the zero on the bottom in situations like this. This is a great example. I hope I over explained it properly so it, it makes sense in every way. Um, let me know if you have any questions though. Thanks.